The cell is the hub of life. The cell is what everything is built off of. It's, it builds the tissues, it builds the organs, it allows you to have a brain to move and walk around. And so understanding how cells fundamentally work is important and how they fundamentally don't work in disease. Um, because without them, you can't do anything else. So cell engineering is our ability to take a cell from the body and manipulate it. Sometimes we'll do that, we take the cell out of the body and we'll manipulate it so that we can confer unique properties to it that will make it function better when we put it inside the body. And sometimes we'll do that all inside the body by targeting a specific cell, like a cardiac cell or an immune cell or a neuron, and just try and make them work better to help us treat diseases and to help us understand better how to treat diseases. The Institute of Cell Engineering came about through the generosity at the time of an anonymous donor who realized the potential and promise of engineering cells to treat um, human disorders. Over the history of the Institute, we've had many great moments watching faculty make phenomenal discoveries from understanding the basic mechanisms of neurodegeneration and Parkinson's disease, understanding how the cell senses oxygen, which one of our faculty members, Greg Semenza, was awarded the Nobel Prize for, and translating our discoveries into new biotech companies to advance these discoveries into therapies for humans. When I was an undergraduate, it was sort of my first lab experience. The guy who was the boss of the lab, he used to say, search and research. Uh, because that's the process. And you know, you have to look at obstacles as challenges to be overcome. Research is not a straight line, right? We don't know where things are going to lead. That's part of the, the real excitement of the, of the work is when things go off in an unexpected direction. And so we can't say, oh, we're gonna fund a discovery that it's gonna cure cancer. It doesn't work that way. It's we're gonna, we're gonna nourish the stuff that's growing down here because eventually it's gonna get up here where the therapies are. And there's no substitute for that process. There's no shortcuts. Great work is done by great people. Every PI or every investigator is the research field. And maybe every talk, every discussion will help to find some new target or new idea. And I, I really like this uh, the environment. I'm very excited to be in this cell engineering institute and then through the different uh, point of view of the research, the different tours, different background. We believe we can really find something exciting, scientific questions, and also find the, the solution to conquer the disease. Hopkins, from the get-go, has always valued collaboration. So we have people here who are working with the astronomy department, biophysicists, computational folks, and AI folks. And so Hopkins facilitates all of that. And when you're collaborating together and making new discoveries that are really impactful, people want to come. As academics, the currency of academia is publishing papers and reporting discoveries and uh, data. And sometimes there can be a long lag uh, between uh, a new discovery or a new technology and when it actually has an impact on people. But Hopkins, and I think the Institute in particular, is very enabling for investigators to pursue commercialization, which is a critical step in getting technologies and discoveries into the public domain. So that means better patient stratification, more appropriate care, earlier diagnoses, new therapeutic modalities that directly impact the lives of patients. One of the biggest challenges always the challenge are the resources. And so philanthropy is enormously important to the Institute as it allows us to pursue research and ideas that are not funded by conventional sources. And that allows us to advance discoveries, move in new directions, develop new approaches, new therapies to treat human disorders that currently don't have effective therapies. 
The speed at which the science and the tools we have is accelerating is tremendous and as a result I'm very optimistic that in the next five to ten years we'll see a big advance in the different types of cell therapies that are available to patients with different diseases. The excitement is to really be able to apply cell engineering in all these different disciplinary areas. To see it broadly applied is really what I, I think most exciting. The horizon for cell engineering is limitless, and that I think is going to open up tremendous avenues and teach us things we didn't know, and it will offer up questions we didn't even know to ask.